Hey loves, in today's video, I'm creating a pink themed makeup look using products from my latest Sephora haul. I am starting with my review of the Tatcha three-piece skincare set that I received as my free birthday gift for being a part of Sephora's Beauty Insider program. The Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser has a pleasant floral scent. It left my skin feeling very clean and smooth. I followed up by applying the Dewy Skin Cream, which also has a floral scent. However, it is lighter than their cleanser. This cream left my skin feeling very smooth as well and also very hydrated and moisturized and very glowy. I could tell the difference it made underneath my makeup. The last product in this trio is their Liquid Silk Canvas Face Primer. I love this product. I love all of these products, but this primer, definitely. It blends down to a soft matte finish and it made a world of difference in how well my products blended on top of it. I also want to show you the brush I use to apply my cleanser. It is the April Bath and Shower Silicone Facial Brush from Dollar Tree. The first product in my haul is the Kaja Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio in Rose Water and it is $26. The shades featured in the Rose Water Trio are Champagne Cream, Ballerina Pink, and Deep Plum. I am starting off this eye look by placing the shade Fresca from the You Can Be Dreamland palette directly into and slightly above the crease of my eye with the Profusion Small Pointed Eyeshadow Brush. I am taking the shade Deep Plum from the Kaja Rosewater Trio and applying it to the outer two-thirds of my lid with my Nika K Round Eyeshadow Brush. I am filling in the inner portion of my lid with the shade Ballerina Pink using the Profusion Flat Shader Eyeshadow Brush. These eyeshadows have an extremely soft texture and since they are shimmers, that makes for very sticky fallout that is really hard to get rid of. Um, this is actually the second time I filmed this look because the first time it was so bad I had to start over. I'm highlighting my brow bone with the shade Champagne Cream using my Ruby Kisses C-Curve eyeshadow brush and I found that the easiest way to get the least amount of fallout is to wet my brush and gently stamp the shadow on. For my winged liner, I use the LA Colors Eye Marker. Now I'm applying a coat of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I recently purchased two pairs of the Ioni 3D Foam Ink Lashes. They are available at Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. I love Ioni's individual lashes. I have featured them in numerous tutorials on my channel, so I decided I would give their strip lashes a chance. For today's look, I went with the Feathery Natural Curl. I love these lashes. They are so long and wispy, perfect for every day. They have a thin, manageable band, and I also did not have to trim them. With my Energy 111, I am blending Ethereal from the Dreamland palette along my lower lash line. Now I am lining my waterline with the Nikki K Black Eye Pencil. To complete my eye makeup, I am highlighting my inner corner with Champagne Cream using my BH Cosmetics V9. The next product in my Sephora haul is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in the shade Lucky, and it is $20. I love the Jumbo Doe Foot Applicator on this wand. I'm just dotting it along my cheekbones. I am now blending it out with my Ioni Blush Brush. 
This brush is slightly tapered, which is great for product placement and making sure you don't blend too high or too low. This blush is amazing. I love the hot pink color and it was really easy to blend and layer. Keeping with the pink theme, I am using a highlighter that I have not used in quite some time. It is the Smashbox and Vlada Collab Petal Metal Highlighter in Gilded Rose. I am applying it with the Energy 110. The last item in my Sephora haul is my inspiration for this entire makeup look. It is the Dior Addict Stellar Gloss in shade 976 B Dior and it is $32. At the time of this recording, I went on Sephora's website and it is saying it's no longer available. I love, 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 love this gloss. It is so good. It's such a pretty hot pink color. It is thick but not sticky. The pigmentation is amazing. I love the applicator. I just love everything about this gloss. It is totally worth the $32 investment. My pink themed makeup look is complete. Here is a close up of the eye makeup. With pink being one of my favorite colors, of course I like this eye makeup. It is really pretty. However, the Kaja Rosewater Eyeshadow Trio, in my opinion, it, it didn't stand out. Being someone who's used a variety of shimmer shadows from a variety of different brands, this eyeshadow trio did not leave a lasting impression. However, I will continue to use it because it is a part of my makeup collection now. Moving on to the face, the two other products in my haul really brought this look together. The Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in Lucky is gorgeous. I love it and I'm so happy that I finally have one of those blushes in my collection. And the B Dior or the Dior Addict B Dior Lip Gloss is, I as I told you earlier in the video, it's my favorite product that I purchased in this haul. Thank you so much for watching. I will list all of the products that I used in today's video down below in the description. Leave me a comment below telling me what you thought of today's video and until next time, bye loves!